Okay everyone, so in this video uh, we're gonna test out uh, T-Rex new release. Uh, this one is 0 0.24.7. It got released two hours ago. Uh, they have some bug fixes right here. And to get to this page we just go to Google. We search for T-Rex GitHub. Like so. And go to this one, releases. And this will take you to this page. All right. In this tutorial, we're gonna test out my RTX 3060 Ti LHR card. All right. Uh, this one has a Samsung memory. If you have uh, like Hynix memory, you should start with the lower memory clock. Okay, so let's go and test out the new T-Rex 0.24.7. We're gonna go down and we're gonna go to this one, win.zip. Let's click on this link. And we're gonna go and click on open in folder. We need to unpack this zip file. We're gonna right click. I'm using 7-zip. If you don't have that, just Google it and install it. After that, we're gonna go down to this one. Extract to T-Rex. Click on this. And now you have the T-Rex folder right here. You can just drag it to your desktop if you like. And we're gonna open up this folder. And now you see that you have different uh, coins like Ethereum with different pools. In this tutorial, we're gonna use Ethermine and Ethereum. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go and click on edit. Now we got this bat file. Now you need to add your own information. So we're gonna go to ethermine.org. I'm just gonna copy this, go and open up a new browser. I'm gonna paste it right here, like that. So ethermine.org, choose ETH, Ethereum, we're gonna go to start mining and now we're gonna choose the correct server. If you are in Asia, you use one of these, Europe, one of these, US, one of these. So in my case, I'm gonna use Europe and I'm gonna use this Stratum port. You can also use one of these if this works better for you. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go back to the bat file and in my case, it's already preset. So we got uh, for Europe and the Stratum port all we need to do now is just to add our information about wallet address. So just paste your wallet address. After that, we're gonna name this rig to whatever you like. So in my case, it's Sun. That's it. So now we can just uh, exit this one, click on save. If you don't have MSI Afterburner, so you can overclock your GPU, you can just go to a new browser, you can go to Google, You just search for MSI of the burner, like so. Go to this one and just go to this one, msi.com. Now we just click on download of the burner and install it. That's it. Now we can just open up MSI of the burner and here you can see MSI of the burner. You can just click on this one to get your GPUs list. So in my case, I'm gonna overclock this one, RTX 3060 Ti. LHR card and the card is uh, Eagle OC 8G. All right, so let's start up the miner and see how much we can get with any overclocking settings. And also, disclaimer you overclock your GPU at your own risk, yes, so you know. Okay, so to start the miner, we're gonna double click on this one, ETH, Ethermine. And now we can see that my uh, LHR card has the intensity of uh, 21.3 instead of 22. All right, that's because it's an LHR card. Okay, so with no overclocking settings, we get about 38 uh, MHz per second with uh, LHR 74, okay? So let's go and add some overclocking settings and see how much we can get when mining Ethereum using the algorithm ETash. So let's stop the miner and we're gonna add the overclocking settings. We're gonna open up uh, MSI off the burner and Make sure to choose the correct GPU. In my case, it's uh, this one, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti Eagle OC 8G. You can just click on this list and choose the one that you want to have, like this. All right, so my overclocking settings that I use is core clock minus 502. We have memory clock. So if you have like a Hynix memory, I recommend you to start from maybe 800, and work your way up with uh, 40 increase each time. All right, 
otherwise you may crash your rig because I have Samsung and I can use a higher memory clock. So in my case I'm going to use 1350. Hit enter and after that we're going to add power limit 65 and if you want to have auto fan speed you just leave this otherwise you just uncheck this one and add your fixed amount. In my case I'm going to add 80%. After that we're just going to go and click on check mark we're gonna go and start the miner and see how much we can get with these overclocking settings. Okay everyone, so these are the final results with these overclocking settings. We see that I have my Gigabyte RTX 3060 Ti at about 46.67 MHz per second. We have LHR 74.5, uh, 55 Celsius, power consumption 129 watts. And we also have a performance efficiency of 362 Okay everyone, so this is just a quick video uh, where we're testing the T-Rex Miner. Just added some overclocking settings for my RTX 3060 Ti LHR card and see how much you can get with this uh, uh, release. Also, if you'd like to join my Discord server, we are all about mining. You find the link in the description and you can also go specific to this one overclocking LHR cards. 3060 Ti LHR if you want to talk about your card right here about overclocking settings and things like that you're most welcome to join we are growing each day okay everyone so thank you for watching this video have an awesome day take care and bye